in this video I'll show you how to take this radiator off the wall. Right, the tools you're going to need are a pair of water pump grips, a small adjustable spanner, a bigger adjustable spanner and a radiator key. You also need a couple of containers to catch the water and a bucket to put the water into. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is shut off the two valves. This one's a thermostatic one, so you just twist it to the zero. Now this one, you take off the cap and you just tighten that little nut up there. And that'll stop any water going to the radiator. Right, you want to hold the valve with your water pump pliers. Just so when you turn that nut, you're not disturbing all the pipe work below it. Okay, and the water will start to drip out. So when that starts dripping out, you want to open the valve at the top of the radiator. Right, so now you want to open the vent at the top of the radiator. Just put your key in and turn it. A little bit of water may come out, but this will let the, the air in so the water can drain out properly. Okay, so when most of the water is drained out, you can open your second valve. So again, grab the valve with your water pump pliers and then undo the second nut. And now you've just got to wait for all the water to drain out. Could take a while. Okay, so I've just took the valve off just to speed up the draining process. As I said, it will take a while. Right, the radiator's almost drained down now, and I've got about a bucket of water out of it. So now we can take it off the wall. Right, when we take it off the wall, we're going to turn it upside down. So we need to close off the, the radiator vent. Right, so now we want to gently take the valves off, making sure we don't damage any of the pipework so that doesn't start, start leaking on us. So a little bit more water will come out. That's ready to take off the wall now. Right, radiators can be quite heavy, so take care when you're lifting it. Now I've put a toolbox there to rest it on. So I'm going to take it off and then I'm going to turn it upside down so it'll keep all the excess water in it. And that's how you take a radiator off the wall. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.